hypoplastic left heart syndrome makes me not able to run and do sports and play like normal kids. But I'm able to do stuff like swimming. Because of that heart defect, she's had multiple surgeries, four to be exact, just on her heart and a couple brain surgeries. So it's been a, a long road for her. Finding quality dental health care for 12-year-old L. Tudor has been nearly impossible because of her special needs with her hypoplastic left heart syndrome. It is so important to take care of their dental needs because most of these fragile patients actually have other medical treatments that need to be done and they cannot be performed until dental clears them. Anytime they're in your mouth, if plaque enters the bloodstream, it enters the heart and that's what causes the heart infections. So the risk is extremely high for a heart kid like mine. It has been an emotional experience. Christy Kate says Elle went without dental care for at least two years until she found specially trained dentists at the San Isidro Health Center San Diego Children Dental Clinic at Rady's Hospital. They gave me braces, they gave me retainer, which I am still wearing for like three years. <laughs> And um, they give me checkups every six months. And we'll take a look at their overall medical history, their overall behavioral condition. So everything from looking at all the medications that they're taking. The San Isidro Health Center is the only program in all of San Diego County that focuses on special needs dentistry, a service that is critical. Special needs children and adults include having cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, severe epilepsy, autism, and serious medical conditions such as L's. I think what the um, San Isidro Clinic has done is um, a wonderful example of a um, community health center um, setting up a program that, that should be a model for how dental care is delivered to individuals with disabilities. The program has been so successful, it has also helped reduce the one-year appointment waiting period for young patients down to about four months, which means more children are being treated. Already, there are more than 6,000 patient visits at Rady's yearly. The goal is to help more patients with the new dental clinic expansion at Rady's, which is coming soon. Such an important program that we need to invest time and effort to continue uh, uh, what they were doing at Rady's. That's where it gets sensitive for me. It's been tough. And uh, she's, <laughs> she's, she's what I call my living and breathing angel. She really is, with all that she's been through, to look at her and see how incredibly strong she is. She gives me so much strength. The advertiser said a special needs person care. Oh my gosh, the first time that I saw that. So I was very happy and I brought her and we are here very, very happy with the doctors and all the staff. Although it can be challenging for families to find care for children with special needs, um, it's even more challenging for adults. It can be extremely difficult. It is extremely important that we not only have this, this safety net for the children that are 0 to 14 years old at Radies, but we also have another safety net set up for them when they graduate up into adulthood and we can take care of their needs in our office at King Chavez Health Center. Because of the many coverage and access difficulties special needs adults face, the San Isidro Health Center is teaming up with the San Diego Regional Center to provide quality dental health care to special needs adults. The San Diego Regional Center offers support services to the special needs population in the entire county. There are 15,000 special needs adults in the county, many whom have nowhere to turn to for dental services. Very hard. She's 22, but mentally she is 6, 7. So many people don't have the patience to care with them. 
Despite the challenges of finding good quality dentists, the situation for special needs adults and their families is compounded when many dentists aren't properly trained and don't take public insurance like Medi-Cal or Medicaid. At the um, King Chavez Health Center, and I was truly blown away by the beautiful facility in this absolutely state-of-the-art dental clinic. There are two exam rooms for special needs adults, and they will accommodate even our most physically disabled. When the parent tells me, my kid has never opened their mouth for a dentist, and I can do their cleaning, or I can do their fillings, I mean, the sense of accomplishment is amazing. And the, for the parents and the caregivers who say, I have gone to eight dentists, and nobody saw my child, and you saw my child. She likes everything, the installations, the staff, the doctor. i very, very pleasant with the doctor because the doctor works very good and fast. We desperately need the funding to continue the work that we're doing to make their lives more bearable. We have the infrastructure to be successful. What we need is we need people to invest in what we're doing, to believe in what we're doing. Funding is critical in order to continue to provide these services and to be able to serve more people. You can't, you can't put into dollar figures, you can't put into anything what they've done for me and my family. And the donations are 100% what keep my child safe.